everyone welcome back to tableau tutorials in this video we are going to discuss about the creation of the skater charts in tableau so uh, we have been covering the different visualizations that are possible in tableau uh, up till now we have created a large number of visualizations like pie chart uh, the column chart bar chart etc in this video we would be working with the skater charts okay so first of all let's understand what is a skater chart if you go to this particular show me tab then right now none of these charts are activated let me just select the sales over here into the columns and the profit into the rows okay so as soon as i do that this is the chart that is highlighted which is the skater plot and that is the one that is recommended okay so this is the skater chart over here that requires at least two or more measures to be present no that dimensions must not be present or it could be present it doesn't matter but at least two measures must be there for the skater plot or the skater chart to be constructed okay so this is how it's created this is how it's looking let me just change it to the entire view so that we understand it in a better way uh here what do we have is this bubble uh present that is showing me the total profit and the total sales right so of course this is not something that we are looking for so what we do is go to analysis and make sure that the segregate measures is checked off now when i take a look at these data points i get the different data points like this data point represents that this much profit was there and this much sales was there but again this is skater chart is monotonous it is not giving us as much information as we want from it so what we do is we get a criteria like suppose we get the category criteria into this color part now what happens now i get these uh, different categories into different groups like this furniture is represented by the blue color so this blue color is mostly concentrated over this region right so what do i understand is that mostly in the furniture what do i have is the sales and the profit values are very low however if we take a look at the office supplies mostly the concentration is uh, on the lower sales and the lower profit but the thing is that some of the uh, orange marks as you can see are scattered over the place that means the highest uh, the sales are getting higher the profit is also getting higher but it is also a case that the profit is low in some cases like uh, this particular bubble which is giving us a loss of at least $3702 third we have is the technology which is actually the most spread category and you can see it's giving us the maximum profit uh and it is giving us the maximum sales as well although we are not uh, getting any profit from the maximum sales that we have made but still the maximum sales lies in the technology category also the uh, most loss or the least profit you can say also lies in the technology category so these are the kinds of insights that we are able to draw from this particular visualization that is the skater plot in case you want different uh, data like uh, along with profit we also want the quantity data let's just drag the quantity data into here so this is what we are getting let's just remove this profit so this is what we are getting for the quantity data right uh, that is the sales and the quantity so how many quantities were sold uh, sold uh, at the amount of uh, that amounted total to 22638 that was a total of six quantities were sold whatever the product was was a part of the technology category and a total of six products were sold so from this we can find out the cost or um, the selling price of one item uh, that gave us the maximum sales and so on this is the kind of the data that we get from this skater plot now how to make it more organized if we just go to analysis and show this aggregate measures now what we get is a much more organized fashion of the skater plot this shows us the total quantities and the total amount of sales that were sold in the furniture category in the office supplies and in the technology as well this is giving us a completely different information on a consolidated manner we get that the maximum sales is given to us by the technology although the quantities uh, we have sold is not the highest in the technology that means the pieces are expensive over here although the uh, most things or the most items are sold in the office supplies category but the sales is somewhat lower uh, than 
the other two right so this shows us that uh, the office supplies are cheaper of course which we know that office supplies can contain the simple stationary items as well which are relatively cheaper than the technological items okay so this is the distinction based on category if you remove the category and drop in say sub category then what happens now we are getting a very diversified information over here let me just reduce the brightness of the screen a little bit yeah so now it is better uh, to look at uh, i think and here it is uh, these different things that we are getting okay so these are the different subcategory wise data which we are getting if you want some other data like uh, along with subcategory you want say segment as well so we can just drag the segment into the label so it is giving me the different segments like this is the data for the consumer segment uh, this is again the data of the consumer segment this is the data of the corporate segment and so on so this data is also available but uh, that's totally up to you in case you just want the sub category names only so that uh, they would be uh, visible to you so these are the different sub category names along with their bubbles showing the distribution of the sales and the quantities sold here we get that the phones uh, gave us the maximum sales uh, with a quantity of a little above 3000 however most uh, item that was sold was binders and they gave us a kind of a, a good amount of sales the item that was least sold is the copiers that is only 234 copiers were sold in total and uh, they gave us a pretty decent sale uh, still they gave us a pretty decent sales right now um the all these insights can be drawn uh, very easily the least sales we got is from the fasteners so we got the sales of around three thousand dollars from the fasteners although a, a good quantity of the fasteners were sold so this is the kind of the data we get through the skater plot right uh, now let us move on to our next plot this was all about the skater plot let me just create a new sheet and rename it as vis6 so this is going to be our next uh, visualization and uh, it is going to be let's me just drag in the data if you just drag in the sales so i have this histogram that is available okay if i can just click on this histogram and it is created now what is this histogram uh, histogram is actually a really good um, way to depict information and what it requires is just one measure not more than one just one measure is suffice for it okay now what uh, does this histogram does is as soon as i uh, dragged the sales uh, this histogram created two things the sales bin and the count of the sales now what is the sales bin uh, let me just work with that sales bin here you can see this is something called the sales bin that has been generated now what is this bin this tells us that what is the distribution of the sales amount like you can see this is the sales bin and this is the count of sales so this is the bin that we have created if we just go to this entire view okay so yeah i have zoom i've tried to zoom in a little bit uh, in order to get a better view let's see if it is working or not okay let me just uh, This is the histogram that's been created um this is the bin as you can see from zero uh, till 500 there is one bin and its count of sales is 8847 it means that it tells us that uh, these out of the total 10,000 rows that we had in our data these many rows had the sales that was between zero to 500 dollars next we have is 693 records or 693 sales were uh, between 500 to a thousand dollars next we had 220 sales between thousand to um 1500 dollars and then we had these uh, 101 sales that were between 1500 to 2000 dollars so this is the kind of the information that is depicted by a histogram it is relatively important relatively necessary whenever we are working with a single uh, measure value or we want to get the amount or the way the things are distributed in that particular value
okay so this is just a few uh, introduction or a brief introduction about um our histogram we will learn more about it in the next videos thanks for watching